Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, let me show you how to estimate errors when you are using different measuring instruments. You can measure the volume of a liquid with a measuring cylinder, pipette, or burette. Measuring cylinders are the least accurate of the three. A cylinder usually has graduations every 1 cm cube. When you measure 10 cm cube, you can be sure that you have more than 9.5 cm cube but less than 10.5 cm cube. In this case, your error is plus minus 0 0.5 cm cube in 10 cm cube. In other words, plus minus half of the smallest division of the measuring cylinder. The percentage error in this case would be 0 0.5 divided by 10 times 100, which is 5%. If you had measured 40 cm cube by using the same measuring cylinder, the percentage error would have been 0 0.5 divided by 40 times 100, which is 1.25%. So, when you are using the same measuring instrument, the greater the volume, the smaller the percentage error would be. Now, I will give you a question. Read the question, pause the video, and do your calculation before you continue. Then check if you can get it. You use a large measuring cylinder to measure solution A. The graduations are every 2 cm cube. You measure 60 cm cube with it. So, what is the percentage error? Here is the answer. You could be sure that you had more than 59 cm cube but less than 61 cm cube when making the measurement. So, your error would be 1 cm cube in your reading. It is half of 2 cm cube. The percentage error would be 1 over 60 times 100, which is 1.67%. Pipettes are more accurate than measuring cylinders. Most school pipettes are made to an accuracy of dispensing just one drop when they are used correctly. Since a pipette is usually not graduated, we use the volume of a drop to estimate the error. The volume of one drop is about 0.05 cm cube. So, a 10 cm cube pipette has an error of plus minus 0.05 cm cube in 10. As you can be sure that you are measuring a volume of more than 9.95 cm cube and less than 10.05 cm cube. The percentage error is 0.05 divided by 10 times 100, which is 0.5%. Burettes are also more accurate than measuring cylinders. They have graduations every 0.1 cm cube. So, the error should be 0.05 cm cube. However, when you use a burette, you usually take a reading at the start and at the end. So, you have two errors of 0.05 cm cube. Hence, the total error is 0.1 cm cube. Let's say you use a burette to measure 20 cm cube of a liquid. The error would be 20 plus minus 0.1. The percentage error is 0.1 divided by 20 times 100, that is 0.5%. This thermometer has graduations at every 1 degree Celsius. If you read the temperature as 20 degrees Celsius, you can be sure that it is more than 19.5 degrees Celsius but less than 20.5. So the error is plus minus 0.5 degrees Celsius in your reading. The percentage error in a reading of 20 degrees Celsius is 0.5 divided by 20 times 100, which gives you 2.5%. This weighing balance reads 0.01 gram. The error is half of 0.01 gram, which is 0.005 gram. This means if you use it to measure 1 gram, you know that it is more than 0.995 but less than 1.005 gram. The percentage error in a reading of 1 gram is 0.005 divided by 1 times 100, which is 0.5%. Now let's try this. What is the percentage error when you use this weighing balance to measure an object that weighs 235.46 gram? Since the smallest reading is 0.01, Half of it is 0.005. The error of this reading is 
235.46 gram plus minus 0.005 gram. The percentage error is 0.005 divided by the reading times 100, which is 0.002%. In conclusion, when you want to calculate the error when using different measuring instruments, look at the graduations on the measuring scale. Decide what reading you can be certain about. Usually, the error is half the size of the smallest graduation. If there are several errors in measurement, the final answer you reach will be affected by all of the errors. For example, if you use a pipette and a measuring cylinder to measure two different solutions to make a final solution, you can assume that the total error is the sum of each of the individual percentage error. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.